All right, welcome to another episode here. Today we're going to take a look at uh, ARK ETF investment with um, Kathy Wood. So a lot of people invest in this ETF and um, when you look at it, uh, it's been selling off quite a bit lately. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick analysis of it. So I'll give you the technicals, the chart and some things to think about. Uh, keep in mind, none of these are recommendations to buy or sell uh, any stocks or, or anything like that. It's just my own personal opinion. So let's go ahead and kind of get started and kick things off. So uh, we're going to go into ARK and if you really look at ARK investment, I'll just pull out some of the uh, the website stuff. It's an ETF, right? It's it's not a single stock. Um, so let's see if we can just skip this and just look at kind of um, what they've got going on. So here's the ARK Innovation ETF and um, you can see a lot of the stuff here. Here's the performance. So you can go through this um, website. And you can look at kind of the holdings. So here's what they've got, like Tesla, Zoom. Um, you can see weight by percentages. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. So we've got like Tesla is a huge weight, uh, Zoom, TDoc, Roku. So very popular companies, Coin, Spot, Twilo, Square. And um, there's, you know, more exposures breakdown. So if you really start looking at these stocks, like you could see the Roku, it's been selling off quite a lot lately, right? Uh, Spotify, I believe, uh, Tesla. So this has been going in sideways. So a lot of these things that are happening right now, it's definitely tough on these types of stocks, on the NASDAQ type stocks, TDOC, uh, a little bit thinner traded as well. But when these things spike, you could, you're, if, if all these things go at once, it's going to be a huge flame, I'll tell you that much, because they're all, it's kind of loaded up like a spring. And as it's coiled and wound, if they're all going to go, they're all going to go like pretty much simultaneously. And that's where this ETF can really shine and skyrocket. Uh, but I will give you the technical analysis behind this. So when we really look at this ETF as just like, let's just look at it as a three letter, uh, actually four, four letter ticker. So I'm going to look at the monthly here. Uh, this thing didn't really do much here at the beginning. I mean, it's just kind of the inception of it. So we've got some sideways action, nice growth, boom. And if you look at an A to B, B to C, B to C can be sideways. So don't make that mistake. And C to D, the pattern actually is clean cut when you really look at an ABCD pattern and structure, right? So we completed the pattern, we hit the highs and we're expected a pullback in the same way that stocks will go up, pull back, go higher. Here we are, A to B, B to C, C to D. And now the next leg, this C will turn into A, B and C and D. So the question is, is how low can we go? Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at next. So as we kind of evaluate uh, the way that this uh, company operates and and so on uh, from a stock perspective and price perspective, uh, we always look at the lows to the highs and we're looking at, hey, what's the Fibonacci levels tell us? Because then we get an idea of how far this pullback can last. It's not perfect. It's not an exact science. It just gives you a rough idea of how big that pullback is. And do we have more room on the pullback? So here we take the swing lows and the swing highs and it gives us levels of a 50% wave pattern or 61.8. And you can see we're coming in right at the 61.8. It doesn't mean it can't go lower and pull back to uh, other support levels like somewhere over down here, such as maybe $60 price level. But right now, in fact, this stock is coming right in. Like if you really look at it, it's coming right in to the Fibonacci levels of 61.8%, uh, which is fairly remarkable when you when you really think about it. Because if you kind of zoom in into this level, uh, there you've got, there it is, 61.8%. So as we also look at this, what you'll see is you've got some volume right here that's also starting to pick up. So this is also some people starting to take some nibbles at the 50%. So the question is, are we going to start getting this turnaround? And that's what you're starting to starting to see a little bit here, some action on the buy side. Before, you didn't really see much of that. You saw some little nibbles over here, uh, but nothing great. So now you're starting to see a few of these one, two, and if we can get a little bit more of a hold here, that's where you could start seeing it taking place. Unfortunately, if this, this, if this does not hold this price level right around 80, and I'll say 80, not like 82, because we got to look at the kind of a range, right? We got to look at this little range right here. If we start looking at that price level of right or under 80, um, if it can't hold there, then you're going to see some more trouble and that downside could actually be down into the 60s. Um, so that's the other thing that you'll want to keep an eye on is that if this breaks right here and it kind of keeps trending on the downward pattern, uh, then you've got some serious uh, issues and problems. So definitely watch out 
for a break right here. So this is a critical point, but what you're seeing is this volume starting to pick up right here. And this is usually a good sign. Um, and if this can hold, then this could be great because this was around 150. I'm not saying it will get to 150 very quickly. It could have a lot of chop right here. Uh, but as you start seeing this kind of rotate here at this price level, if you see that happening and all these other stocks start heading higher because the CTF is based on those other stocks, and then this could actually fly fairly well and uh, start pushing. I think you will have some trouble around 100. That's kind of like a critical level for a lot of uh, stocks, tickers, psychological levels as well. And you'll also have a little bit of trouble actually at the 90 right here. But if it starts flying, that 90 could blow through and then you'll watch that 100. Uh, those are kind of the key levels to watch. So anyways, that's my take uh, for this uh, stock and this chart. I would keep an eye at those levels from a retracement standpoint. Uh, this one's actually coming right into that level could be coming in right to a great support right now and it could be buying a buying opportunity if that support holds but if it can't then this stock could be breaking down a little bit further so just watch those few levels that I mentioned and you should be okay from that standpoint so thanks again for joining me enjoy the rest of the week ahead and I will see you in the next video